hello. <laughs> what is up my crafties and welcome back to my craft delicious YouTube channel. I just want to say really really quickly before this video starts, again thank you guys so much for supporting me and keeping through with this channel. Um, I say this so often, but I will try to be uploading to this channel more often. It does mean a lot to me that so many of you guys stick around and that this channel is still going. So we'll try to be uploading more often with school coming around. Hopefully that can stay consistent. But again, thank you guys so much and enjoy the video. One, two, three. Remus is gone too. I mean, Remus is gone. I couldn't find him anywhere in the mine place. Well, he has to be somewhere. Yeah, there's no way he can't. Uh, kiddos. Patton, did you find them? <coughs> sort of. <coughs> King, what is your business here? Merely to bring a new order, since I'm back for good. There won't be any new order. You don't belong here anymore. <laughs> oh, do you hear him? Hilarious indeed. Who knew your last words would be such a falsehood? What? Logan, we don't want you to spoil any fun, do we? Now, morality. You were so cute as a baby. Let it stay that way. Oh my god. Patton. Okay, that's enough. Cut the BS, you two. What is it? A, a revenge for something? You. So invisible, I almost forgot you existed. But I remember how you struck down every brilliant idea, thinking you know what's best. Restraining the full potential of creativity. I have to say, you impressed me. What? Your own ideals are far better anyway. Therefore, I appoint you my creative minister. From now on, every bad thought of yours will come to life. Do what you're best at doing. Have fun. <laughs> No, 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 <laughs> You're good as mute. Enjoy this Enjoy delectable helplessness. A gift from your king. Tisk tisk. That's not a suitable read for a brain like yours. Too irrational for your taste. You're looking for how to exploit creativity, aren't you? You won't find it here. It's already done. <laughs> Face it, you're no help. 
how can I be of assistance? Just get it out. Oh, Logic, you are the only one to always be honest with me. But your voice is sharp like blades, and it just hurts. What is troubling you, young one? Uh, I wanted to talk to Roman. Say a few words. Actually, um, I'm sorry. You've always apologized and, and did your best to make everyone feel included eventually, and I never said sorry for all of my mean comments. I can't imagine how much of this has already piled up. I just wanted, needed you to know that I. I regret it all. That was adorable. Adorably unnecessary. Since Roman doesn't exist anymore. So your guilt is very unwelcome, unless you can create something out of it. As your king, I command you to get rid of it. They, they won't let you suppress them for our. Why so sure, young one? I, I just know. They wouldn't do that to Thomas. They know how important they are to him. They. <laughs> Come again. Come on. He's toying with you, Verge. Stay strong. It's a shame, you know, that you didn't tell him before. He'd appreciate every little opportunity to laugh in his hopeless existence. <laughs> hey, you know who else loved a good laugh? Your finest bestie. <laughs> How'd it go? We need to stick together, you and I, yes. Oh, it's so nice to not be the only bad guy. Oh, wait. Well, bummer. Guess I'll just bathe in misery. Alone. <laughs> oh, you're gonna flee again. Don't leave me, friend. Stay for a nice chat. <laughs> it's just not fair. Where the hell is all of this power coming from? How? He owns not only the twins' every memory, but he also can decide what's relevant and what isn't. Huh? Every time Roman and Remus didn't listen, you can assume that the king did. I believe that's also how he knows he can get to every one of us. And weakening us is making him even more powerful. Ironic. What's that? He's so powerful now because for once in his life he actually listened. Must be awfully tiring for him. If he's completely uninterested in listening anymore. Makes you wonder, can we get him to listen one more time? I wish, man, it just... It seems impossible. What? Not the good time to panic? Now is the perfect time to panic. Let's face it, this is our doom. If not by this cycle, then me by accident. I mean, did you see those... things? Just look at this! What even is this? You but ugly. 
You don't have a brother. Roman! Remus, are you alright? I want my brother. Please, Dee. I, I just want to see Roman. Are you ready for sleepy time, little prince? No. Why not? I want to see Remus. Remus? Who's that? My brother, Remus is... Oh, silly Roman. You have such a big imagination, kiddo. Go to sleep. It's very late. But you don't have a brother. Good night, kiddo. Deceit. So nice to see you here. I would say the same, but that would be true. You know why I'm here. What do you mean? The twins. Where is the other one? Tired of yours already. His name is Remus. It's not right to keep them apart. Aren't you morality? For Thomas, them being together is also not right. <laughs> the twins. Where is the other one? <laughs> Tired of yours already. Are you Roman? Remus's brother? Yes, I have a brother. Do you know where he is? His name Hurry, while well, Dee has Remus. the blue guy distracted. For Thomas, them being together is also uh. not right. This conversation is over. Stay away from the prince. <gasps> Patton! Come on, I can't repress him for long. Deceit. That wasn't very nice. Ugh. Run, Virgil. But, but, faster. Roman. Ignore him, Roman. Give him back. You already have one. This conversation is over. Stay away from the prince. Roman. 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 <laughs> if you were looking for Midnight Crofters, I already ate it. I have no regrets. You may want to change clothes. You know Patton doesn't like it when you wear green. I... doesn't like green or... Maybe he doesn't like me. Roman. Ignore him, uh, Roman. That was Deceit's voice. Come on, Roman. D. Almost there, Princey. You'll be okay. Remus? Why is your door open? Uh. uh maybe he's getting a snack. Hmm. You've been silent. You alright, Princey? Roman? Hey, 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 look at me, look at me, look at me. Dee, we made it home. You, you, you said this would stop when we get back. Where are you, Dee? Remus? <laughs> no. Have you seen your brother in the purple mini deceit? Where is Dee? What did you do, you a Language. Let's relax here. I'm not here to hurt- LIAR! Oh. Come on, kiddo. Is this how you treat your guests? Why are you- Apologize. Please. You're right. I'm sorry for helping and listening to deceit. That worked? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not a mind controller, kiddo, so... I'm sorry. I should have expected this. Please, you can tell me. What is weighing heavily on your heart? Shh, it's okay. Do you trust me? No. 
do you trust to see the liar? No. I'm glad you understand. You're a good kid. <laughs> Go to bed. It's very late. It's okay, little prince. Your favorite dad's got you. Come on. Looks like we need to have a little talk with deceit. Hold still for a second, Roman. Let me fix your top. You're worried about deceit. Why is that so? He's important. Don't let Patton hear you say that. Wait, I, I thought Patton said you'd never met deceit. Roman didn't, but I didn't. I don't have time for this. Roman, come back. Patton told us to... Take a look. Do you so trust morality? He did this to D. To me. Uh. D, get up. You can still break his influence. I don't know what he said to cause this, but it doesn't count. Because V and I will always be by your side. You're not Roman. Who are you? Remus. Remus, the Duke, but Patton is already here. Patton? Morality? Hey, that's me. Sorry I'm late, kiddos. Did you miss me? I bet you did your best, didn't you? Please come help me, Logan. I need you to bring Roman back to his room. What happened? Is Roman alright? Deceit happened. It was so, so, so hurtful. Did Deceit really do this to Roman? And you let him? Yes, Deceit did- I wasn't talking to you, Patton. First, where is V? V? Who? Little Purplehead is safe and much happier. I promise you that. Now, it's your turn to answer the question. Did deceit do this to Roman? Please don't take him away again. Pretty sure that was a yes. It was for a good cause. Good? How is this good? He did it to protect Roman from morality. I was protecting Roman too. Maybe your cause wasn't good. It was selfish. Shh, 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 shh. It's okay. Go back to your room and keep our little prince safe. Your favorite dad is going to fix everything. I'm feeling nice, so get out and never come back. You've hurt them enough. You wouldn't want to make it worse. No! Stop. You're okay. I am. <laughs> it's time to give morality a reality check. Say what you want, but you can't deny that you caused all this. You hurt everyone. You crossed the line. <laughs> I'm done crying for you. That's nice, but you need to look. You can't just repress both logic and creativity. Do you have any idea what you're doing? Knock knock. You are already in. Well, don't ruin the joke. But hey, yeah, anyway, I promised you a chance to be responsible, right? Yes, that is correct. Well, now's the time you can be. You aren't one to lie or anything. So, very well. What is it? You'd likely make it something too easy. Easy for me. Come on, I'll show you. No need. I'll walk next to you as you lead us wherever. You are surely going to swing your arms as you walk. Patton? Yes? I had a thought. You take responsibility for us a lot, but that's not your job, is it? 
I mean, it is kind of. Yours is taking responsibility. However, being responsible is actually my job. Here we are. You get to be responsible for a door. Creativity. I'm sure you'll be a great brother to him. I trust you with him. Creativity got smaller. I suppose it makes sense that he became a child again, but huh? Is he having a nightmare? He's slightly stressed. Let's give you some soft light and comforting pats and tell you he'll be okay. That should help him calm down. You'll be okay. <laughs> uh huh. What? Are you okay? How do you feel, Pat? And uh, what happened to you? I had to bring up your happiest memory. You'll be okay. What about you? I'll be fine. Just a bit stressed. It'll go away after I deal with nuisances. Nuisance? Go to your room and lock the door. Tell me, what happened? Something fixable. You're lucky he had good memories to help. Unlike certain... Twins. Memories? Memories may be your job, but you'd be surprised how emotions affect each of them. Even you can't repress that. That doesn't change how you hurt us and that we aren't leaving without Roman. Oh, boo hoo. I'm sure you will. Or else, well, you'll always be evil. We already established that wouldn't work on me. Oh yeah, but I wasn't aiming for you. Who- Wait! Who did he- I have to stop him. D? Oh shh. I'm evil, aren't I? D, what's gonna happen to me? So, why was I made? If all I make are bad thoughts, I don't want to hurt my brother, but I also do. How do I stop? D, how do I stop? You are not evil. Your creativity is intrusive, but not evil. Will I ever be useful to Thomas? You always have. Honest? I apologize for the mishap. Don't feel bad. Be honest and you'll feel better. No need to repress. Feel some good thoughts. <laughs> Perhaps one day you'll meet us. Until then, stay the good, honest Thomas. We love... Honest. Liar. What a shame. Your plan has failed again, villainous snake. You should have expected this. All that's left is for you to leave. And after all the damage you took, you're too weak for a rematch, so... N no. You and I both know you're the evil one. There would be a lot of damage if the twins are separated. Moreover, think of us. We're part of him. Hurting us will change him. And you know how strong creativity influences him. You keep talking about future consequences, but how do we know if it'll really be that when you don't even consider how it can be done? You can't say what's coming if you don't know what's happening on both sides. After all, if we try enough, we may allow the other to be discarded. You already know that, don't you? Uh, D. Oh, whoopsies. <laughs> that 
came out a little more harsh than I thought. N no. And more painful. Sorry. <laughs> okay, don't worry. I'll take good care of Roman. Go back to the dark side. Remus? Shh, Remus. You're not compatible with this transport. Uh, a fever. D deceit? Virgil! You're back. Is everything okay? You know you can call me D. Did he hurt you? Virgil? It's me. You can trust me. Right? I, I don't know. Can I? N never, never mind. Nothing happened. You j You lied. What has he done to you? Wait, just leave it. Please, I'll, I'll be in my room. Virgil. Why? I don't understand. Patton, what have you done? Who's there? Logan, I was so worried about you. Where's Roman? It took a lot to get the seed out of here. Is, is he doing all right? Yes, Roman is all right. Thank you, Patton. And I'm so sorry I couldn't protect him. You trusted me, and I... I'm not angry. I know deceit could trick us, so you don't have to blame yourself. Does this mean I can... Yes. You can still be responsible for Roman. Go on, Roman. It's past your bedtime. I'm glad you're alright, kiddo. Everything we did was to save you from... Bad sides. Let's get you back to bed. Of course... Thank you for saving me, but Padre. How about we forget tonight happened, okay, Princey? Okay. <laughs> <laughs>